Hey, what's going on, everybody? Very excited to be back here. This is Dr. Derek, board certified prosthodontist here in Newport, Rhode Island. Get ready to celebrate this holiday weekend here. Before we do that, we got a really exciting case here. We're going to be looking at how to set yourself up for success with immediate dentures. So if we scroll around here, this is our case for today. So this individual kind of got a challenging hand in life to start with. He had an accident as a youth and it really kind of devastated his confidence and didn't have the proper dental intervention to uh, really set himself up for a life of uh, dental success, unfortunately, here. So you can see eight and nine were avulsed, never addressed, the space closed, and he's walking around with a removable interim restoration that only has room for one central. So you can imagine how unesthetic that is and what that can do for your confidence here. Uh, radiographically, we're looking at this and you can really appreciate the amount of bone devastation and advanced periodontal disease that's been going on here. And, you know, 18, 19, really just kind of holding on by a thread. The rest of the dentition, it's like, yeah, some people might argue holding on to those teeth, but looking at the 10,000 foot view, I want to go ahead and level everything, really restore this person to optimal uh, function and aesthetics here. And we're going to do that with immediate. <clears throat> maxillary maneuver complete dental restoration. Intraorally, you can really take a look and understand what we're up against here with oral hygiene, a challenge, uh, lack of space between seven and 10. So again, we present a patient with options and we're gonna go ahead and uh, extract everything and deliver an immediate denture the same day. So you're probably wondering, how do you avoid pitfalls with this treatment modality? Well, first off, for those of you, we're going to take a trip down memory lane and take a look at the face bow and articulator. I know people don't use those out in private practice, but uh, they're still very relevant and helpful. Uh, your maxillary cast, you want to make sure it's parallel to the deck and not canted one way or the other. The face bow helps you do that. also helps you get an average distance to your TMJ joint for healthy accuracy. And... To mount your mandibular cast, you're going to go ahead and use, remember this, a record base. Yes. Record base is going to help you get some stable posterior stops. And that way, you can articulate your case with confidence. Teeth are closed, and we're feeling pretty good. Also, b before... You cut all the teeth off your cast. So I, again, I realize that you're probably not setting your own teeth, but if you're in school or residency still, you probably are setting teeth. So don't just cut all the teeth off haphazardly. You get a ton of information from these teeth here, like incisal edge position, which I've marked there. So <clears throat> I will take off one incisor at a time and place denture teeth in those spots. And that'll really help me get a, a representation of incisal length, and buccal lingual contour. And to do the occlusion, I will take a 20 degree template and set the mandibular teeth against the 20 degree template. They'll sit here. That'll help me get a nice compensating curve. And then I'll set the maxillary teeth against the lower setup to get some bilateral balance. So again, I'm gonna do a second video once I have the teeth set here. But I hope you guys found some value in this. And if you did, please leave some comments. Uh, find me on social media, Derek Gatta, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope. What else is there? LinkedIn, anywhere you want. So uh, you guys have a good holiday weekend. Talk to you later.